tell me about your understanding of Chicano psychology and, and um, in terms of an organization, in terms of its movement. Yes, um, I, you know, I can't remember who the primary movers were of the very first Chicano psychology conference. I, I suspect that it was um, Dr. Amado Padilla mm -hmm. and Renee Reese, Dr. Mm -hmm. uh, Renee Reese, who died uh, mm -hmm. several years ago. Um, people like Manuel Ramirez mm -hmm. and El Profe um, mm -hmm. um, Castaneda. Um, uh, Al Castaneda. Yes, Al Castaneda uh, presented, um, as did Martha Bernal. There were a couple of other women who I'm not remembering right now, but it was a symposium. There were about 10 or 12 people who gave papers uh, on their research, and uh, it was just an awesome experience. I believe that it was the first a symposium on Chicano was psychology. That, 76, I, that was in 76, I 76. believe. Yes, yeah, 76. Uh -huh. and then I think there was another one. And then um, there was a conference at Lake Arrowhead about 1979 mm -hmm. or 80, um, in which a number of, a, another symposium was held. It was actually uh, called the Lake Arrowhead Conference. And that was actually the, um, the, uh, w what came out of that was the establishment of the National Hispanic Psychological Association, mm -hmm. which is now called the National Latino Psychological Association. And that, I believe, just celebrated its 25th anniversary uh, right. this year. That's right. mm -hmm. Very good. Thank you. Can you tell me a bit about your, how you became involved at, at, as an active member of APA, how you became involved in governance, and, and why? Okay, uh, yes. I, um, I was actually, both Ana Gonzalez Sorensen and I were both selected in our, at the end of our first year in graduate school as um, minority fellowship mm -hmm. um, uh, honorees. We were in the very, very first cohort of the APA minority fellowship program. We were the first students selected. We were among the first students selected. Um, and um, so early on, Dr. Delmas Taylor was the executive mm -hmm. director, was the original director. James Jones is mm -hmm. now. Uh, and. Um, they basically did many things to mentor the first few cohorts. Well, they still do, but some of the things they did was uh, urge us to come to the American Psychological Association Convention, urged us to present, urged us to be involved. Uh, there were summer internships, and I did one in Washington, D.C. Um, with uh, a political in uh, internship with the office of Henry B. Gonzalez from San Antonio, uh, and spent a summer in Washington, D.C. Uh, doing that. And so uh, as part of that summer internship, we went to the APA building, which was over on 17th Street mm -hmm. at the time, several times to have meetings and so on and to meet people. Um, and um, uh, Delmas Taylor and then James Jones were very proactive in having us come to convention to attend, told us how to attend meetings, what divisions to attend relative to our specialties and so on. They actively mentored us into the, socialized us into the professional activities like that. Um, and um, I think that um, I have a natural political background because mm -hmm. my parents were pretty active politically at the grassroots level. Mm -hmm. uh, my mother, for example, was the first Latina to be on the uh, school board in San Marcos, which is my hometown. Um, and they were very, always very active in, um, voter registration and so on. As a child, I used to go registering people to vote. Um, even when there was still a poll tax, we used to figure out how to raise money and get people to register to vote when it used to cost money still. Mm -hmm. uh, and so I, I think that oriented me to be, see politics in, in, in professional, in the professional arena as a natural thing to do. Um, that of course you, and I think being a firstborn, you have a tendency to automatically slip into taking responsibility. <laughs> uh, and uh, so um, I, I think I was invited to run for uh, BSERP, the Board for Social and Ethical Responsibility mm -hmm. in Psychology, uh, which was then considered the social conscience of, of the profession. Mm -hmm. And that is the board that was later um, merged with the Board of Ethnic Minority Affairs to become the yeah. the Board for the Advancement of Psychology and Public Interest. And so I was on BSERP, and it was one of the most awesome experiences of my life. I served with Bob Guthrie and Leona Tyler mm -hmm. and Chuck Kiesler um, and uh, a number of different people, Steve Moran um, and uh, uh, 
just just a number of uh, different people, and I was in awe uh, of, of these people, and and saw how, and learned a lot about how um, there was a place for um, um, psychology um, for members of the association to move psychology in the direction of, of one of its missions, and that is to promote um, human dignity and social welfare, uh, welfare of, of, of people in society. And so I got the bug, and uh, I just continued to be involved in a number of different ways, and found out that even though being involved sometimes is painful and discouraging, sometimes one person can make a difference just being at the table. And uh, I also uh, found that people can learn and be responsive. I certainly have learned an incredible amount. I'm still learning. I think we all learn on an ongoing basis. Uh, so it's just been largely an empowering experience.